everyone, welcome back to my channel. It feels like forever since I actually sat down and filmed a video like this. So I want to wish you all a very happy new year. 2021 hopefully is going to be a better year for us all. I don't think anyone this time last year expected 2020 to go the way it has, but I think everyone should be so proud of themselves for making it through. And I think we've all learned a lot um, and we've all experienced a lot for sure. But I wanted to do this video to try and spread a bit of positivity to end 2020. And even though there's lots of awful things that have happened this year, I wanted to celebrate all the good and all the amazing things that people have achieved. So I don't know why I feel emotional, guys. Um, yeah, I've been feeling really emotional the last few days. Um, so it's good to be real with you guys um but i just thought it was a really nice idea i was just sitting watching i don't know what i was watching i was watching something on netflix and i was thinking about this year and like reflecting on it all and things um and all the stuff that's gone on i can't believe it's been a year though it has gone quick in a way i think even though it feels like this has been like this forever but i don't know it's a weird kind of time frame but I was just thinking to myself, oh, I think that'd be really nice to celebrate all the good because not all bad things have happened in this year. Like, like I said, lots of people have learned a lot about themselves and hit goals that they wanted to achieve. And yeah, I just th thought it'd be nice to do this video. So I want to celebrate all of your achievements and go into 2021 with a positive mindset and hope, a lot of hope to know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and we can get through this together. So. Today is New Year's Eve when I'm filming this, so if I get it up on New Year's Eve evening, go me. If not, you'll see it at some point in the new year. Let's mute that. Um, so yeah, I don't know when you're watching this video, but a happy new year and yeah, let's stay positive and spread positivity. So I put on my Instagram stories, um, I can't remember what I actually wrote. Let me read out what I wrote because that would be helpful. I'm thinking about doing a positive video to end 2020 and hopefully lift people's spirits. Tell me something you're proud of or something positive that's come from 2020. I want to hear all about the things you have achieved, overcome, things you are proud of. Everyone should be proud of getting through this tough, tough year. So I put that on my Instagram and I'm so, so grateful that so many of you responded sharing your achievements and things that you're proud of because we should be celebrating those things this year. So now I'm going to keep all of these anonymous, but I just wanted to share them to show everybody what different people have achieved and gone through this year. Yeah, let's cheer these people on. So let's go from the start. I've screenshotted them all. Moving away for uni. I love it so much. I think that's amazing. I think it must have been so hard to move to uni in this year because obviously I think a lot of people and students spent their freshers and all things like that locked down in their rooms, in their halls and I think that's really isolating and must be so horrible. Moving away from home for the first time is so daunting anyway but your friends and all the events and things get you through it so I can't imagine what it's been like for people who have moved away from home, away from their families, and then just been isolated all along, all on their own with their thoughts. So well done everyone who's made that step and congratulations on moving away. But this person says they love it so much. So amazing, I'm so, so happy. And next year will be even better. <laughs> Someone's put, I bought a new car. What an achievement. Me too. This is actually, he won't mind me saying, that's actually Tim who's responded to that. So thank you for actually taking notice on my Instagram for once, Tim. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm so proud of you, Tim. Um, you worked so hard. We both worked so hard and we were both able to buy cars each this year. And I think that's a massive achievement and it should be celebrated. So I'm so proud of you, Tim. Well done. I'm proud of how I became more confident and have grown so much as a person. I think that is an amazing one and I think a lot of people have come on their own journey and grown as people. I think I definitely have. Um, so to hear that you're proud of yourself for that and you're acknowledging that is so, so amazing. And you've become more confident. That is so amazing. That is something that I want um, to happen for me in 2021. The fact that you've done that in this really hard year and you've worked on yourself and 
shown yourself some self-love. I just think that's amazing because you are beautiful, the person who's put this, and I think you are one of the kindest souls. So thank you for writing that to me and sharing this with me. Thank you to everyone for sharing all of these with me. I feel very privileged and honoured that you, I don't know, that you participated in this because it's making me really happy reading all of these. Okay, someone's put, starting a new business after theatres closed. Now, the performing arts industry has been hit so hard, along with so many other industries. Um, but I'm in the performing arts industry, A lot, most of my friends are, so I really see the heartache and the pain people are going through and the struggles. Um, so the fact that you've started a new business and taken it upon yourself to maybe use your skill set and keep positive and even though your work and everything's gone for the moment it will come back guys everyone always needs theatre and the fact that you've turned it around and done something positive with your time is just amazing so congratulations on starting your new business i hope it's been going well and i hope your business thrives even more in 2021 next one I've managed to save some money towards a house deposit due to severe lack of holidays. <laughs> Congratulations, that's amazing. I wish I've been steadily saving, but I could have saved a lot more this year. Amazon Prime was calling me, you know? Like, I feel like lots of people can relate to that. But the fact that you've saved money towards a house, which is a positive thing for your future, which is so, so exciting. That is such an achievement. Well done. And yeah, that money that would have gone on a holiday this year that sadly we didn't get to go on you've put it to good use and you can save money in 2021 for a holiday and it will be amazing <laughs> i am proud that i got into my fitness and was able to lose over 20 pounds since summer that is incredible congratulations um I feel like some people have gone one way or the other way in this lockdown. Some people got really into their fitness and, has lost, and have lost loads of weight and improved their health and fitness. And some people, like me, the worst state they've ever been in. <laughs> but not that that's a bad thing. Try not to be so hard on yourself. Um, that's what I keep telling myself anyway. Because we have gone through a really, really tough year. And if you've got to the end of it and the worst thing you've done is put on a bit of weight, then pff, let yourself have it. There's next year, you, you, you've you gone through a lot. Your body, your mind, your soul has gone through a lot. And if, yeah, just don't put pressure on yourself. But the fact that you've lost 20 pounds since summer is amazing. Oh, honestly, that is my motivation for 2021. Keep it up, well done, that's brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. I worked really hard on my YouTube channel and achieved all of my goals for it this year. This makes me so, so happy. This beautiful girl, I won't say who she is, but I know she watches and I've watched her and we always support each other and I'm so, so proud of this girl. Um, if you're watching, I'm so proud of you. And the fact that you've achieved all of your goals for this year is amazing. You keep setting those goals and you will just keep climbing and keep hitting them. And you would, you just deserve every bit of success because you work so, so hard and you're such a kind, genuine person. And I think that will send you a long way. So congratulations. I hope 2021's even better and your YouTube channel grows even more and yeah. It's gonna be great, positive vibes. Someone else has put, I got better at prioritizing my mental health and left a job that negatively affected me. Now this person, I am so proud of this person because I think it's really, sorry, I'm just putting my feet up on the bed. <laughs> um, I'm really proud of this person because I think that's a really hard and big step to make, especially if you've been training for a specific job role or you've put all this time and effort to do this job and you're finally in it and it's not what it turns out to be or it's not affecting you positively um, and it's affecting your mental health. I think it's really, really brave to actually recognise that and to know what's best for you and step away from that. And I'm so proud of you for doing that. Just remember, all of that work is not to waste. You've had that experience. You have learned from those experiences. You've learned from that job and that setting. And you will take those experiences and that knowledge 
and all of that hard work and energy that you've put into that career and take it into maybe a different avenue, same kind of genre. It is not, not to waste at all. I'm so proud of you and life has these things. We don't always, it's not just one straight path. Sometimes you have to go there to realize, oh, I'm gonna take this shortcut to there. And then, oh, actually that's led me to that bit. But you get what I mean, but you should be so proud of yourself for making that decision and recognising the fact that it wasn't affecting your mental health positively and you stepped away from that and that's amazing because your mental health comes first. You come first. You have to live in this body for the rest of your life. You have this brain for the rest of your life. You need to look after it. And yeah, we need to work, we need to earn money, but there's more to life than just earning money. You need to be happy and satisfied in what you're doing um so yeah i'm so proud of you that's an amazing one how amazing are all of these things oh thank you so much for sharing all of these with me guys okay someone's put i'm proud of myself for coping after splitting up from a 28 year relationship now when i read this i uh, my heart broke um but this person is so unbelievably strong and one of the most beautiful people I've ever met, inside and out. She's a gorgeous woman. Um, and you should be so proud of yourself because you have, you have coped so well. Um, and 2021 is gonna be a better year. Just stay strong, keep your family around you. You've got an amazing family. And I know that you've um, gone through a lot of other hardships this year, but you've overcome all of them and just know that you're tough as anything and you can get through anything in this life after going through what you've gone through this year so I'm so proud of you you should be so proud of yourself as well um yeah surround yourself with the people that love you and care about you and make you happy because like I said you are the most important person in this life you need to look after you um because you're with yourself forever Someone else has said my home. They're proud of their home because they've moved into their home this year, which is such an achievement. And they've done it all up and it looks so beautiful. Um, and I'm so proud of you too. You should be so, so proud of your home and what you've built with your partner and the life that you're going to have together in that home. And yeah, I just think it's such an achievement and only bigger and better things will happen next year. You can maybe have house, like a housewarming that you never got to have and all sorts of things like that. And you can really enjoy your home for all of the social things, hopefully next year that you can enjoy. Sorry if I'm not making sense in this. I'm just kind of like, this has made me feel so much better. I'm like beaming with happiness and positivity for all these things now. So I'm just kind of waffling. So I'm sorry if this is a long video. Proud that I'm still here and wanting to fix my mental health this is so important i think so many people have i don't want to get too deep into it but so many people have struggled mentally this year whether it's to the extreme or not to the extreme everyone has struggled i think every single person has struggled without a doubt but the fact that you're proud that you're still here and that you're still fighting and you're wanting to help yourself and look after your mental health is so so important because do not ever give up on yourself because we are tougher than we think our mind sorry my nose is running our minds are so powerful and they can dominate our thoughts with all this negativity but at the end of the day you always have control of your life you always have control of you and what you do Obviously you can't control everything in life, like there are factors that you can't control. But if your mind is telling you these awful things, you, you always have the possibility and the power in you to come out from that and rise from that. So I just don't want, like just don't ever give up on yourself. You are worth so much more than that. Yeah, you are worth everything. You are so important and so, I can't even think of the words. You are so irreplaceable in this life. So please remember that and take little steps to trying to not fix, but trying to work on your mental health and look after yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll leave that there. But 
yeah just look after yourself 2021 is hopefully going to be better and we can surround ourselves with more positive things and look forward to more positive events and things so we'll see how it goes just making through this year alive and overcoming my lowest moment so another similar one I'm so proud of you as well but like I said remember you are so important you are irreplaceable you are powerful you are strong you can overcome anything and you are meant to be here and you should never ever give up on yourself okay someone's put i did a bedroom makeover got a job made a home studio and made new friends it felt good that is amazing wow so many achievements big and small you did a bedroom makeover that's amazing i think that's such a good thing to have focused your time and energy on this year when we spent more time at home so that's amazing you got a job that's brilliant especially in the cli current climate you should be so so proud of yourself for doing that and achieving that um and made a home studio how amazing that you can work on yourself and do something you love and you're passionate about and that should hopefully um excite you for 2021 what you can create in your home studio i made new friends that's also so so lovely um, there was another one on here that said I have gotten so much closer with my friends which I think is so so lovely because obviously we haven't has, had as much physical contact or social gatherings and things like that with our friends as we normally would you can't go out and party you can't go out drinking you can't go out for meals you can't go and do adventurous stuff you can't go on holiday but the fact that you've gotten so much closer with your friends is amazing because it just shows that we can use technology for positive things like you can you can stay connected with people and communicate with people and become even closer even if you are not physically with one another. So I think that's amazing. So both of you for making new friends and getting closer with your friends, that's amazing. Such a positive to take from 2020. Someone's put losing fat and getting muscly. Amazing, another fitness one. Um, that is such an achievement. I'm hoping that you are proud and happy, happier with your body and you'll continue to feel that way. You should be so proud to be where you are right now um and that takes a lot of work and effort and determination to lose fat and build muscles so you should be proud of yourself pat on the back to you so well done <laughs> my lovely friends put my best friend starting up her youtube channel and loving life just proud of you oh don't make me cry <laughs> um thank you so much that is something that i will take away from this year that i have taken a huge step this was before the pandemic um but I took the step at the beginning of this year I thought why am I going to not do something that I've always wanted to do just because I'm scared of what people will say so I just took the step and did it and kind of had this carefree attitude I didn't care what people said or if people made fun of me um and I feel so much happier inside for doing that and I love what I'm doing even though I'm working like crazy I'm still trying to fit in this because it's a passion and it's something that I feel proud of committing to and working towards so thank you for writing that I'm so proud of you she hasn't put about herself on here but she has been through a lot this year she lost her job she had to move out of her flat in London she had to move back home for a bit and have a real tough time in lockdown at home for all of that time. It was like months and months and months. But now she's got a new job. She's moved in with her boyfriend and they've got their own place. And it's just amazing. You can do anything. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Someone else has put starting YouTube. It's funny because these have all grouped themselves, which is weird. I think that's just a coincidence. Starting YouTube, amazing, congratulations. It takes such a big step to do that because obviously you're putting yourself out there online and it's a bit scary. Um, and you've smashed it, absolutely smashed it with your YouTube. Um, you inspire me. So keep doing what you're doing. I hope 2021 is even better for your channel and its growth. Um, and congratulations. Achieving my A-levels, amazing thing. I don't know, I don't know how that worked because of the exams I actually don't know how that all worked to be honest even though my brother I think they just got their predicted grades I actually don't know um but 
for achieving them, that's amazing. It doesn't matter what you got, but amazing. Congratulations for that. Um, yeah, you should be very, very proud. All of these achievements are so amazing. Okay, someone's put, I'm proud I wrote a short film and cast my three awesome friends in it. <gasps> amazing, congratulations. You are such an incredible writer and I'm so grateful to be in this film that you have written and that you're gonna produce. I think it is incredible and I feel so, so lucky and grateful and I can't wait to start working on it as soon as we can. Um, it's something that's getting me through and keeping me positive, so I'm so, so happy. Thank you. You should be very proud of yourself. Went through one of the hardest breakups of my life and finally learned self-love. <sighs> that must be so hard because I think when you go through a breakup and heartbreak, you feel like the world is going to end and the only thing that I think that gets you through heartbreak is distracting yourself and being with friends and going out and doing things and staying busy, personally. Um, so the fact that you, this has happened during this year when you're not really allowed to do all of that is amazing. You should be so, so proud of yourself. And you finally learned self-love, amazing. Like good you are such a beautiful girl and you deserve the world and I don't know how it ended but you deserve everything and more you shouldn't ever settle for any less than well you should you should think the world of yourself because you're a good person and you deserve to be treated amazingly and if someone's not treating you right or things aren't going how they should be or you think that you deserve better then it's, it's happened for the best I think that you are so strong and beautiful and you should be so proud of yourself and you don't need someone to make you happy just as much power in being single like it doesn't make you more powerful or more worthy if you're in a relationship you just need to be happy and I think that you've learned self-love once you love yourself people people will gravitate towards you because you are fully, I don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> but you are fully like invested in yourself and true to yourself, I think, when you learn self-love. So yeah, good things will happen. This is amazing. And the fact that you may have had to go through this really hard, difficult breakup, you've come out the other side of it loving yourself and that is so, so important and that is priceless. So you should be so proud of yourself. Well done for overcoming a really, really tough time this year. Someone's been graduating uni with a first during a pandemic. Can I get a whoop whoop? Congratulations, what an amazing achievement for 2020. You, this person, if any of these people are watching this, I will talk to you. You, who have put this, I'm not saying your name, but you know how much I love you and you are gonna go, I rudely got cut off. But I was saying, you are gonna go far. You are so unbelievably talented and pr I promise you, just you wait and your career is gonna take off as soon as the world gets back to normal. Um, you should be so proud of yourself, congratulations. And graduating alone is such an achievement let alone to do it when the world fell apart. So, congratulations. Another educational one, there's a few actually. Someone's put starting education again after four years. That is an amazing step. Congratulations um, for taking that step, um, especially in such a difficult year. You probably had lots of things in your brain going, oh, should I, shouldn't I? You should be so you should be so proud of yourself. I've said that probably so many times in this video, but we all should be proud of ourselves. Someone else has put, finished uni with a first class degree. Another, whoop, whoop. See, all these people are smashing it. Like, all of these people on here are my friends. You're all my friends. And I just have such amazing friends. Like, so many talented people. Like, just reading through all of these amazing things. Like, it just shows how much people have achieved this year. 
like you everyone's been at their lowest lows probably this year maybe not but majority of people have probably hit the hardest times that they will ever experience in their life yet they've still managed to achieve such amazing huge milestones in their life so everyone you blow me away another person passed their driving test first time Woo! i can't wait to see you in your little whip um yeah another amazing amazing thing congratulations especially because of the delays of driving tests and you can't couldn't have lessons at one point so the fact that you've managed to do that and do it first time is firstly the thing i'm most proud of is my performer friends for adapting from their circumstances this year and possibly retraining but never giving up hope secondly i'm proud of myself for passing my driving test this year with zero minors even though i thought it couldn't be possible with multiple cancellations etc also i got a keyboard piano for christmas so i'm focusing all my energy into that at the moment wow so many amazing things in that so firstly the pride that you have for your performer friends and some people who have been forced to retrain or have made the decision to retrain I think that takes such bravery and yeah I'm so proud of oh I've got a little fluff I'm so proud of all my performer friends as well and um, so I'm with you on that one I'm proud of you too because you've you've continued to work throughout this so you should be so proud of yourself passing your driving test with zero minors is amazing another driving test one like I said with multiple cancellations and not being able to practice with your instructor must have been so so difficult and as soon as you come away from the wheel and you don't keep up that those lessons it becomes even more daunting to go back behind like behind the wheel again it's really really scary so the fact that you did it very very proud of you and you got a keyboard piano for christmas so you're focusing all your energy into that that is so exciting and what a positive thing to like what a goal to set yourself for 2021 to work on that I think it's so important especially because we don't know what's going to happen in 2021 but make sure you're taking time out for you and hobbies and things you enjoy because that is priceless and learning a skill like that it makes me really want to do it focusing all of your energy into that is a great distraction from the craziness that's going on in the world but it's also a really positive thing that you're doing so amazing i'm just beaming from all of these okay i need to speed up because this video is going to be like hours long but i want to give everyone the time getting a new amazing acting agent Woo proud of you you're gonna be in hollywood one day because you are so so incredibly talented and i will believe in you every single day for as long as i shall live um and you work harder than anyone you deserve it so much and um, so you've got a new amazing agent they're going to look after you and yeah i'm so so proud of you for achieving that this year hopefully when all the auditions and castings and everything are back in full swing in 2021 you're gonna land something great i I'm so, so excited for you and to see what you achieve in 2021. Going from not being able to run for 30 seconds to running for 30 minutes. I was super proud. That is amazing. I could not do that. Um, this person used the couch to 5K app thing, which is something I'd really like to do. I just don't know if I can do it. I don't know. I'm hoping that I can do some running because I do quite enjoy it on a treadmill. I think in real life it's harder because the air goes to the back of my throat and I'm like, <gasps> um, but yeah, maybe you've inspired me to do that next year. Maybe I'll try it, but congratulations. That is such an achievement. Even though I haven't run since June now, we'll start again soon. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, that can be a little goal of yours for 2021. Maybe we could do it together. I was finally able to get myself my dream car. That is amazing. That is such an achievement, such a positive thing. I think it's a real... A milestone because um, we're still fairly young but when you can when you've saved up to buy something that you've always really wanted it is such a proud moment so feel free to like you should be celebrating that I'm so proud of you you deserve it um, and only bigger and better things will come as you continue in your life you are still so young you got your whole life ahead of you so if you can achieve that now what are you going to be achieving in 2021 and beyond so i'm so so happy for you that is so so exciting i overcome my filming fear for youtube keeping my and keeping my business open through a pandemic 
I kept there two amazing things. Another YouTube one. Um, like I said, it's a big, daunting, scary thing. So the fact that you've overcome that fear and you've made that step is amazing. And you've done so, so well. I'm so proud of you for taking that step. And hopefully you feel so happier, so much happier in yourself for that as well. And you just radiate positivity. So keep doing what you're doing. You're meant for it. And keeping your business open through a pandemic, that's amazing. I think phew, small businesses have struggled so much this year and anyone still going strong and or not even still going drunk, strong, who's still there, still trying, still grafting, still trying to keep their business alive and functioning is amazing and you are so strong. These are probably the hardest times and they've really tested your business and your mindset and your determination and your dedication to it basically. So anyone who's a small business owner or a business owner, anyone, you should be so proud of yourselves for making it through this really tough year. You've been faced with every single possible challenge um, and just know that it will only get better from now. I only read a book fully instead of giving up. That's amazing. I wish I read more. The fact that you finally did it without giving up is amazing because you've had that willpower to get to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully that will lead onto some more reading for you or maybe it sparked a passion in you or an interest in reading for you so that's a real positive one more let's do one more i got a two one i started my masters and i moved in with my boyfriend that is amazing so many positives there i am so proud of this person like she is just going to smash her way through life she already is um she's doing her masters in law and she's just She's just amazing. I'm so, so proud of her. Um, she finished her degree. She missed her graduation, which is so sad, which obviously a lot of people did, but hopefully it'll be rescheduled. Things are all coming together, hopefully next year. Who knows where you'll be? Maybe you'll have a ring on it. Who knows? I don't want to jinx anything, but things are looking good and your life is, is just starting. So if it's feeling good now, it's only going to be better in a few years' time. So probably annoyed everyone by talking so much but i just want to say thank you to anyone who has written in those lovely lovely messages i'm sure you can see by the by the energy of me that that has just lifted my spirit so much reading all of those amazing positive things that you've all achieved or things that you've overcome personally um and everyone should just be so proud of themselves for this year i feel so proud of everyone not just the people who have messaged me but everyone i know like Anyone I see post something, I think, oh, you're still posting, you've got through this year, like things like that. I'm just so proud of everyone and I really think that the human race has been tested this year. We have all been tested and, <laughs> if you'll pardon the pun, sorry, I just realised I've been tested a few times. Um, no, but tested mentally and physically and financially and or in every way possible. Um, but yeah, I feel like we should all be so, so proud of ourselves. I'm saying it again, the word proud, for just making it through to the end of the year. So today is New Year's Eve, the 31st of December. I'm hoping you will see this, maybe on New Year's Day, because I don't know if I'm going to have time to edit it all, because it's going to be a really long video, so I'm really sorry. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it has put a smile on your face or made you recognise that 2020 wasn't all full of bad stuff. And hopefully, if you didn't write something, you can, this video has made you think about, actually, I've done that. Actually, I'm proud of myself for doing that because I think it's really important to recognize that and pride yourself in what you're doing and give yourself some recognition for it because you deserve it. I'm gonna stop talking now because I don't know what I'm saying. So I'm sorry for repeating myself and waffling, but I'm just, I'm just freely speaking. I'm not worrying about what anyone's gonna say. I'm just being me and just letting it out. No filter here. So I'm sorry if it was <laughs> if I said some annoying things or said things incorrect or not got my words out properly because that happens a lot. I hope everyone goes into 2021 with a positive mindset. Just focus on yourself and look after yourself and take care of those around you, make good choices, be sensible and careful and stay safe. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I feel so much happier now. And I just feel like, whew, 
I've just let out all the negativity. It's over in 2021. Goodbye, 2020. See you never. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you for watching, everyone. Love you so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.